blub. Round of applause. Hey, what's up, people? This is Rasta Boy TV, and it's your boy, the real Rasta Boy. Yo, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all of them same time at the real Rasta Boy. That's D A R E A L R A S T A B W O I. Bloop. Check your email. Anyway, happy Labor Day to everybody out there. I hope y'all had a nice long weekend because I sure did. And everybody who barbecued and had the grill lit and all that good stuff or went to go eat at somebody's house because I know how y'all do. Y'all love to go ahead and get y'all a doggy play at somebody's house instead of firing up y'all grill. Anyway, this is my Labor Day cocktail. I'm trying out this new pineapple Amsterdam. It's really cute. I like it. I'm drinking it with um, peach orchid um, tropicana juice. With a lot of ice, of course, and I put a splash of ginger beer in there. It's kind of sweet. So if you want to use some ginger ale or ginger making ginger beer, you can. But make sure y'all drink y'all cocktail today. While watching this recap of Love and Hip Hop, Atlanta Season 3 Reunion Part 2. And before I go any further, I want to give the disclaimer out. Okay, because I'm tired of people coming on my videos and being very rude, leaving rude comments like talking about, um, what are they saying? Leaving rude comments about, Oh, I'm looking for, um, uh, I thought this was the, the, um, the, first of all, VH1 would not, or Viacom, which is, owns VH1, would not let anybody upload the full episode of Loving Hip Hop on their YouTube. So that is strike one for y'all, if y'all don't know. So if somebody put it out there for y'all to watch it, it must be through some other medium because VH1, once they, once they have the, they have the sensors in the, um, on YouTube, that once they pick it up and find out you are uploading their um, sit there, they're going to block your ass. So when y'all come in here and looking for the full episode of Love & Hip Hop, either the episodes or the reunion or whatever, y'all won't find it out here. So don't come at me being rude or nasty, because when y'all come at me rude, all I'm going to do is block y'all, okay? This is my channel, and I'm giving my opinion about recaps and videos and anything I see fit, because it's a free country, as the last time I checked, okay? Anyway, now that I've given my disclosure, hopefully y'all will keep on watching. Thank y'all for watching, and keep on two thumbs up the video, and leave y'all comments, and keep on subscribing, because I do appreciate the ones who appreciate me recapping and giving my thoughts and two cents about the, the shows, okay? Thank y'all. Bloop! And in that order, as Mama D will say. And in that order. Bloop! So this part two of Atlanta reunion of, of Love and Hip Hop. I don't know if I was digging it too much because I was there were there was it was too hyped. You know, they were hyping it up, obviously. And I think because VH1 doesn't want a lot of lawsuits to be sent their way, aka Mona Scott Young, exec producer. I'm sure she obviously, um, she obviously went ahead and edited a lot because this was this was, this was not really fine. Yes, I saw Jocelyn. Sorry, oh yes, God for that cocktail went up. She and Stevie J acting like they're so high and mighty, trying to smack the shit out of Althea, aka Hothea, Benzino, aka fiance, wife. I don't know if they're even married either. Just the same way I don't know if Justin and, and Stevie J are married, because we sure know they sure that they've been fabricating their story all season. But anyway, so yeah, we see Justin went up and yeah, the shit out of Althea. Rush was just sitting on there being pretty. Benzino got up and it was a whole catastrophe. I'm saying, sofa turning over, Jocelyn and Halti on the floor, Benzino and, and um, Stevie going at it and cursing it. Oh, I'm here. Beep, 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 beep. I see um, Mimi. Sorry, not Mimi. Um, who was sitting beside um, Althea? I think it was Ariana. I can't remember who was sitting beside. Um, let me see. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to play a spun for her right here. Um... I'm watching them as I'm speaking. Oh, Rashida was sitting beside Althea. And she had to get up. I'm saying like, um, Kalina and her husband, um, Tony, was whisking Kalina away because, you know, she's pregnant, very pregnant. Um, and um, everybody that's supposed to, Mama D was, you know, in her own little world. Everybody was trying to escape this debacle because Stevie J was, and, and, and Miss, um, Joseline was doing the most. After um, all that co um, catastrophe, there goes um, Jocelyn trying to come yank the shit out of um, Tammy, yakking her damn um, ponytail off. That's what I tell y'all girls out there. 
Y'all need to make sure y'all hear our fast properly because Jocelyn got this shit all the time and weave. Sorry, her ponytail. I'm telling y'all, oh, that's how laugh was, um, was, you know, when y'all do the ponytail, y'all wrap it around and wrap it around and wrap it and pin it with your pins and stuff. Because I went to beauty school, so I know how to put in a piece of um, a ponytail. And all I saw Jocelyn was holding was the entire, um, um, piece, well, the hair piece, the whole piece like this. I'm like, Jazzy was crazy. She was doing the most. And she tried to, um, and then, Deb, which is Waka, Waka Flocka's mother, um, aka Tammy's mother-in-law, was trying to, you know, yak the shit out of them, um, Jazzy, but she, security was all up in the mix and barricading, barricading her from even getting to Jocelyn. So Jazzy lucky because Deb is from the streets. But can we talk about, um, Deb's, Miss Deborah, whatever her last name, I'm not sure, Waka Flocka's mother, aka big entertainment uh, manager out there in Atlanta. She, you know, manages a lot of people that we know, represents stuff. But tell you about that wig that she that that cap wig that she had on tonight. That wig was not cute. Sorry, I'm not care. I, she's known for <laughs> she's not known. But for the last episode that we always see her in, um, we she's known for not wearing nice hair. I'm sorry, but that was some little ghetto ass wig looking stuff that you were wearing tonight, Deb. I don't get it, but if it fits you, sorry, not if it fits you, because it ain't fit you for, for me, or you know, in my opinion. But if you think it fits you and you think you look good in it, Deb, go ahead and rock your damn um. Um, Mary J. Blige's um, blonde orange hair wig cap wig that you're trying to do some funky hair style with, girl. Okay, and that black and that black dress you wear with them with them with them pigeon heels. Anyway, um, let me keep on going. So after the whole fighting and 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 catastrophe on the stage, VH1 decided, you know what? I'm gonna clear the entire stage. Clear the entire audience. We're not gonna bring nobody. We're not gonna bring the ladies, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, back out. Minus the audience, cause you know everybody's trying to protect their safety. And if VH1 had any issues with the audience getting in contact with all of this catastrophe, possibly more lawsuits. So they were doing this in the best interest of the audience members and also in their best interest, obviously, cause you know they didn't want more lawsuits than possibly they may get from the other cast members. Everybody came back after the whole fight. Stevie J and Johnson was escorted out of the, um, the premises. I don't know why the, um, Benzina and Althea not come because seeing that they were actually the victim of this whole dem demarco, I thought um, that um, Althea and um, Benzina will come back. But we're going to see them give their, their, their two cents about this in the next um, part of Love & Hip Hop, which is part three next week, Monday. So everybody was shocked. You know, Rashida and Kirk was shocked. I'm like, everybody was left for no words. Mimi finally got in sick. You know, we didn't see much of her in the last episode. She's part one. Mimi was on stage with um, um, Ariana, um, you know, Erica, you know, um, what's her name? Carly Red. You know, Young Jack was still on there with his um, blazer with his damn rose on there. Um, 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 what's it? Kalina and her husband, Tony. And can we talk about Kalina's dress? Okay. Yes, you're giving nice boot cleavage, girl, but I don't know if I can work with that purple hair anymore, girl. That purple hair is giving me too much. I need me a purple wig so I can move it to the side like you, Kalina, because what, you and this purple hair is just working me. I'm like, are you Katy Perry one week, one minute here? Who else wear purple hair? I'm Demi Lovato. I'm like, this purple hair, Kalina, is like, when are you going to change this hair color up, girl, to something else? By the way, Kalina was there with her pregnancy. You know, she's almost giving, she, I think she's due in October. No, she's doing Christmas. She, I think she's doing Christmas season. So she's like, what, three months away from giving birth? So she's very pregnant right now. So, you know, Tony, let me make sure that, bitch, let me get you out of the way. Because nobody's going to nobody gonna try to um, harm my baby. My baby and my baby inside of you. Um, so after all of that, and everybody clears and they already return, everyone was just discussing how they felt that this fight was over the top, not called for, not sure um, what was going on with Jocelyn and... Um, and Stevie, even um, S S S Justin X manager, the lady, or I can't remember what her name is, but she's the one that manages um, what's the name? They love the porn star people. Um, what's the name again? Mimi and um, and what's the name? Nico. She was on there giving her a Tuesday because you no, know, she's a manager, Jocelyn, and she was you know showing her, to, you know, yeah, ben, yeah, um, Scrappy and Bambi was there, the Bam. Um, but everybody was just there like astonished because they were like, is Jocelyn on the, on the molly? Is Jocelyn on the coke? Is Jocelyn on something? Because she was acting very funny. I don't know what, what she was on, but based on how Tammy described, Tammy says that she comes from a family 
um, or an environment that always be doing or behaving the way Jazz needs to behave that is substance abuse. So she knows firsthand about the behavior and traits about how people behave when they're using Subs you know, substances and stuff like that. So if Justin is using a substance, if you have not yet seen a video out there, there's a video out there with Justin in some studio rapping, I heard for three hours straight, sweating the hell out of herself, and um, just going on a rant about what, and she's sweating and looking a hot mess in the video. The video is there circling around about Justin um, and then the guy who recorded the video said man Justin messed around the studio and Stevie came and he was afraid. If you haven't seen the video out there, just maybe um, go on YouTube and look for it or something because I saw it out there and I was like, Justin, you are, you're, you know, you don't want to smoke weed and don't act like you don't smoke weed. I don't smoke weed, but I don't know if people will smoke weed act the way that you act. And I know people smoke weed and don't act like the way Justin acts. So Justin must be smoking something else other than weed, but I'm not a doctor of any kind. So I can't diagnose Justin about what she's smoking and what she's not smoking, but I'm sure I'm already can find out to do a drug test and find out what's in her damn system. So the only way I was this I was disappointed about part two of Love and Hip Hop Reunion um, season three is because it was just boring after the whole fight went down. Everybody would just sit down there discussing about how they thought thought about Jocelyn, why they thought Jocelyn, why they thought Jocelyn was behaving like that, um, about Stevie's behavior. Um, you know, Mimi gave her two cents of it because she's, um, she's, you know, been with Stevie J for a minute. She had, they have a daughter, Ava, together. But everybody was giving her two cents. You know, Carla was giving her two cents. You know, even though she and Jocelyn are really no damn friends, she, would ch she chimed in and gave her two cents about, um, that you know, you know, Mama D said, you know, Justin, you know, you know, what what is all this behavior for? Deb says that you know she's a. <laughs> this is probably made me, like, made me laugh. I don't know if y'all saw what Deb said. She's a lover of woman, and um, and she don't like her the fact that how Justin was behaving because that was not a human right there. Deb, yeah, we all think that hint hint you love woman because you're giving me butch realness. Um, anyway. Um, Deb said she didn't like her the fact that Jasmine was behaving, you know, she's a beautiful girl. Everybody, obviously Jasmine is pretty. She's Puerto Rican. No, Puerto Ricans always give off good little prettiness. She said she's pretty. So Jasmine was giving me prettiness, of course, but her outfit was tacky and very trashy. Very thotterish. Um, but I don't understand why um, everybody is so appalled by Jasmine. She's not behaving anything new. She'd be behaving this all season. And then two, um... You know, she came to fight and she fought. So why, you know, y'all acting like, oh, Jocelyn, 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 Steve, this, CBJ. At the end of the day is, you know, y'all, you know, Benzina and Alfie should have been more prepared when they see somebody coming over them to, to come, you know, throw down something in their face to be like, I don't defend myself, but y'all didn't defend yourself, so y'all got what y'all got. I'm sorry, but Benzina should have been more protective of his, of his, fiance, whatever um, or Althea is, but Justin had no right, or Stevie J had no right to go ahead and do all that little extra shit. But it's ATL, and it's love and hip hop, and if you don't bring the drama, they may not get renewed for season four. So, obviously, the more drama, the more talked about the reunion is, the more they're gonna get renewed and can continue, because we all wanna see turn up and wretchedness, right? By the way, long story short for me, um, the reunion part two was okay, it was not what I thought it was going to be. They edited to me a lot of the fights out just to me for their own safety of not being sued by all kind of different kind of people from, from all kind of sides. Anyway, that's my thoughts. If y'all have anything to say and comment about what y'all thought about part two of the reunion of, of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta season three, please go off and sign off right here in the comment section of this video and make sure y'all follow my blog, therealrasterboy.blogspot.com dot com and go ahead and cheers it up for happy labor day weekend pineapple amsterdam um peach orchid juice or you can use some pineapple juice if you want and i put a splash of ginger beer in there he use ginger ale over a lot of ice mm -mm -mm. it's really good make sure y'all are um two thumbs up in this video and subscribe before you go please hit that subscribe button i said before when you subscribe to my channel you can get the latest updates and news about when I put out new videos, okay? So you won't be left in the dark and be like, I don't even know you did a video of this. <clears throat> yes, I give you everything here, and when you can't get it here, go to my blog. The link is in my um, description section of this video, therealrestaboy.blogspot.com. I'll catch y'all next week for part three 
of this messy ratchet turn up for what reunion next week Monday on Rastaboy TV. Good night. Peace.